This ain't that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this, this is this probably gonna be my lane here. Did y'all ever play high? I know y'all were talking about that earlier. I never played uh, after um, smoking, um, but we were playing in Indiana one day. Like I wasn't feeling well. I had a hamstring, a hip, or something. So I smoked, and I was like, well, I, like I wasn't gonna play originally. So we got to the arena. I'm like, I feel better. I feel, I feel good. <laughs> Like I went out there, had a great game. <laughs> Yo, what numbers you do? I was like, nah, I, I like like 24. I'm saying like double double. And I was like, Yo, this is like I felt great. Anybody else ever smoke and play? Me no. You did? My whole life, really. For real? From high school to college to the pros. What was your found, routine? I just found a way. Uh, I'm telling on myself, but I don't give a fuck now. I mean, I would <laughs> what I would do is I would do. You know what I mean? We'd have shoot around. I go home, smoke a joint, take a nap, wake up, take a shower. Shower was important. Shower would wake me back up, eat, and go to the game. What was the best game you remember? All my best games, I was medicated. For real? Yeah, I was. That's like I said, like he said. I mean, he 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 felt like he couldn't play that night. You know what I mean? And he smoked and he went and had a gig. Like so, I just I just knew I, as much as I could. It wasn't every single game, but in 15 years, it was a lot. You know, a lot of people smoke, but. A lot of it's behind the scenes and stuff like that, particularly in the NBA. How many closet smokers do you think there are? Shit, I think 85% of the league. Well, I think like our old like NBA since I left. Yes, yeah. Like early mid 2000s. It was a lot of people who you wouldn't think. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, a lot people of people who you never hang out with. At the same time, the think, GMs, you know coaches, presidents, like as far as when you want to say closet. I mean, it goes deeper than what you think. You yeah, know what I mean? Some of these people that are cracking whips on us. Trainers. Are smoking, you mean? And, yeah. Some of the people that are like cracking this. whips and suspending us are smoking weed. Mostly everybody's a closet smoker. All my billionaire mentors or whatever, they all consume. They smoke like they smoke like crazy. So how beneficial would it be then to legalize it for the league? Very. It's, I mean, listen, super beneficial. If you have access to something, if you have information about something, you will become disciplined enough to understand when I should take it or when I shouldn't. But when you have someone telling you you cannot do something, you're going to fight that system. I don't care who you are. Because when, when we first came in the NBA, we used to get that one preseason drug test and you could rock the whole year. When did 90s. it start going random, bro? Going Two, so. to my fifth year. Yeah. I think it had to do with some baseball steroid stuff. So we started, and they knew that 